Okay, continuing with my uh, book reviews of a series of books that I've read. Um, I'm gonna this in this one I'm gonna be doing Alan W. Eckert's Frontier Narratives. Um, these are the only of all the one reviews I've done so far. This is the only series I don't actually have the books. Uh, but fortunately for you guys, I got a photographic memory, so I can remember um, most of what I read. Uh, this is the only book I got, and I'll I'll hold this up when I get to it. Um, Alan W. Eckert was an American historian. He died in 2011. Uh, he had seven uh, frontier narratives that were written. Um, everything that happens in these books really happened. But in his style of history, what he would do is he would, uh, like if we know something happened at a certain fort, uh, but we don't know exactly the context of the conversation that happened between historical figures, he would flesh that out. And he would write it almost like a novel, uh, although, you know, the stuff definitely happened. In fact, he was he was uh, good for uh, having footnotes at the bottom of his pages. And say if something happened, he would say, uh, this happened near the present day city of, you know, Fort Recovery, Ohio or Elkhart, Indiana or whatever. Um, I'll go through these quick. And uh, if you got any questions, ask. Uh, the first one um, was The Frontiersman. And it was written in 1967. And uh, it's about the forcing of the Cumberland Gap, basically. Um, there's quite a bit about Daniel Boone in it, and also there's uh, quite a bit more about a guy named Simon, uh, Simon Kenton, uh, I think was his name, I know his last name was Kenton, and he's very much a Daniel Boone type character, and, uh, you know, it's very interesting, it's long, um, you know, the, the books are, you know, five, six hundred pages long, um, in all the books, it's, it, the theme is generally about the westward expansion, of settlers and the American military and the conflict with the Native Americans. And I'm not going to make a political statements here. Only, the only thing I'll say is that the violence and the savagery of the torture and stuff inflicted by both sides uh, is really a trial to read in most of these books. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, but again, The Frontiersman was written in 1967. Uh, Wilderness Empire was the second one. Um, it was written in 1969, and that is basically about the French and Indian War, for the most part, um, in upstate New York. And, of course, you know, in western Pennsylvania, people that are familiar with that epic of American history will know where most of it occurs. Um, it's certainly one of the best, I think. Um, a lot of fighting, you know, and it goes between, you know, talking about individual trailblazers to descriptions of full full-scale battles. Um, the third one was The Conquerors, and I think it was written in 1970, and that is about the Pontiac Uprising, um, a little bit more obscure, uh, epic of American history, uh, occurred in 1763, Pontiac was a real vile, uh, individual, and, uh, there was a, it was an uprising all over the upper Great Lakes regions, um, Fort Michilimackinac, uh, Detroit, um, it's it, it's a lot. The story in that one's a lot more telescoped into just a just an 18 month period, um, as opposed to some of the other ones that, that are, are, are more wide ranging as far as how much time elapsed. Uh, you know, real real good stuff. Uh, the fourth one uh, was is my personal favorite. And that was the Wilderness War, and specifically that's just about the American Revolution in upstate New York. Um, General Sullivan, General George Washington. Uh, you know, basically fighting in the midst of the Iroquois Nation. Um, it was published in 1978. It's my personal favorite. It also, believe it or not, I was actually reading this book uh, when the towers uh, came down on 9-11. I'll never forget that. I was reading that right in the middle of that book, and I heard, you know, off to the side that something was going on. Um some of these are harder to get hold of than Maryland. It took me a while to, to run the Wilderness War down. It wasn't at the you know, library. I think now with the advent of Amazon and stuff, you can get these books, um, you know, the paperback versions pretty cheaply. Um, the fifth book was Gateway to Empire. Uh, that was I live in Indiana, so that was the, the one that was the most interesting as far as a lot of the stuff happened around here. Basically, it's about the Fort Dearborn Massacre in Chicago in 1815. Uh, although there is stuff about Fort Wayne, old Fort Wayne, uh, up in the Elkhart area. Um, in, in a lot of these books, most of the, the Indian 
uh, tribes that are involved with the Shawnee, uh, you know, from the upper Great Lakes area, uh, the Chippewa, and so on and so forth. But although you are gradually moving west, but uh, yeah, but Gateway to Empire is, is, is good. Um, and then the last one of the original ones uh, was Twilight of Empire. And that was about, it's about, basically about the Black Hawk War and in the 1830s. And you're moving again a, a bit further west uh, with that. And it was 1988. And interestingly enough, Abraham Lincoln, who was a uh, frontier militia man, is actually in this book when he was, you know, in his early 20s. It's kind of an amusing, amusing thing to read about. Um, and then in 1995, he came back with this book, is the one I that originally got me started reading Eckhart's Histories. Um, that Dark and Bloody River, Chronicles of the Ohio River Valley. Um, if there's one thing about these that some people have noted that they didn't care for as much as some of it's repetitive, uh, this one is more like a catch-all. Uh, it kind of puts everything together, everything you've written about, although it has a lot in common with the original uh, Frontiersman uh, from 1967. Again, it's from 1995. Um, he also wrote a book I have not read that's very similar. Uh, called Tecumseh, Our Sorrow in Our Heart, about, uh, you know, the uh, the native uh, ruler Tecumseh. Um, and a lot of that's about, and, and again, the War of 1812, of course, too, is uh, represented quite a, quite, quite a bit in these books. Uh, end of the 18th century, end of the early 19th century is the time frame we're dealing with. Um, he was working on a book uh, about the Donner Expedition in the, uh, you know, in the Sierra Nevada back in the 1800s, and I'm not sure if he completed that or not. And unfortunately, Eckert died in 2011. So uh, again, I just thought I'd pass it on. You know, I'm pretty sure most of my information is correct, uh, but I don't I don't uh, own these books. Just this one, this last one is the one I own, although I maybe uh, purchase them uh, eventually. So uh, you got any questions? Go ahead and drop me a line.